Hey gang, Brian Martin, the boss man, coming at you once again from Joplin here at Four State Trucks. Today, we're going to take a blast back in time. You know, let's go back to the late 80s, early 90s. Uh, trucks weren't quite what they are today. They were cool, but in a different way, in a different, uh, in a different fashion. And those first guys that had the old Pete's, Kenworths, and Freightliners, you know, really if you had an 18-inch bumper and you had some uh, chicken lights down the bottom of the cab and sleeper, and maybe some straight pipes, maybe you had some 5-inch straight pipes on the side, you were a custom truck. So there wasn't this huge offering of uh, amazing bolt-on accessories, trim pieces, and upgrades like there is today. Well, back then, and it's kind of funny now, to look back at what we all purchased back then, and we're putting them on the mud flaps of our trailer, on the mud flaps of our truck, on the mud flaps there on the back of our battery box, on the bottom of our hood fender. But some of this stuff, you remember the old days of the K Whopper mud flap weight? We still have these for sale. Now, sales are kind of dwindling these days, and you may find them on the clearance rack. Uh, but anyway, remember K Whopper? And you gotta wonder, who came up with Peter Carr? Peter Carr. You can't even make sense out of that, but over the years, we've sold hundreds of them. Freight Shaker, of all of these, the Freight Shaker and the K Whopper are some we actually sell on occasion today. Why Freight Shaker? Was it because they kind of like shook themselves apart as they went down the road? That's what a lot of people say. I'm a Freightliner fan just as much as the next guy, but they did kind of... The whole dash, doors, and everything was shaking as you was driving. For that matter, the Kenworth and Peterbilt was too. Those trucks back in the 80s weren't really designed to run 95 and 100 miles an hour, were they? And stay together for very long. But it's pretty cool to look back at just like bell-bottom jeans and some of the old music from the 80s. What was cool back then is still a little bit cool today, but leaves a little bit uh, to be desired. So today's an 80s tribute to the Freight Shaker, the K Whopper, and the Peter Carr. That's all we got for now. We'll do it again next time.